Hi, I'm Lewis Jones with the application team at Milwaukee USA. I'm here to talk about using four layer printing with our UV printers. Using Rationlink tools for Illustrator and the Rationlink RIP software, you can create beautiful images that transition in different environments. I'll give you some tips and tricks on what I use to set up one of these files. So here, this is the base image that I started out with. You see the background area is where most of the image is going to change from day to night. So I'm going to lighten up that image. It is good to start with as bright of an image as possible and then make the nighttime image as dark as possible. So you see I'm uh, selecting parts of the image to replace with a lighter image, mainly the sky, and uh, deleting the excess to make it brighter. Also play around with the settings to uh, adjust the brightness so I can lighten up a little bit more. So now that I have my daytime image, I'm going to make my nighttime image. All right, so now that I have my daytime image saved, I'm going to create a new layer to start my nighttime image. It's important that I make a duplicate because both of these need to be the same image, just with minor tweaks in the uh, just with minor tweaks in the brightness and contrast. I'm going to start by changing the levels in the image to darken it up uh, in the same way that I uh, changed the sky in the daytime image to uh, be brighter, I'm going to once it is as dark as I can, I'm going to change the sky in this image to be uh, a nighttime sky by selecting the area that is the sky and replacing it with another image that I have in my stock photos. Uh, it is important that you make sure that nothing is really moving around. Of course, I'm not changing the position of the lighthouse. I'm not changing a lot about the image, just what the sky is going to look like. Another good thing to think about when you're making your nighttime image is highlights. If you have a car in your image, uh, what's really gonna make that car pop is uh, the high beams or the lights on the car. You can add in highlights to make the image pop. Uh, unnatural light sources like light bulbs really highlight those to uh, make that pop. The image that I have right here, of course the lighthouse, I'm going to be adding a light inside of the lighthouse to really give the effect of nighttime. And of course I'm using the brush tool for that. This is all in Photoshop. So I make a yellow highlight and then a pure white highlight inside of the yellow to give that same effect of uh, a bright unnatural light. Uh, I'm also going to be adding in a beam later to uh, really emphasize the, uh, the light coming out of the lighthouse.
Okay, so now that I have saved all of my individual layers, I should have my nighttime image, my daytime image, a layer of black and a layer of white. Uh, I'm now rearranging those layers in the composite section in uh, raster link. You see the layers should be broken down as uh, the nighttime image at the bottom, then the 30% uh, black layer then the white layer, which is a special plate, and your daytime image at top. Uh, I'm making sure that my black layer is a shading plate, so it knows that it is a separation of not just 30% of black, but this is a black that is going behind another layer. And here in this section, I am making sure that all of these layers are printed separately instead of simultaneously. So you'll get the actual separation between these two layers instead of just everything printing at the same time. And here I am just rearranging the uh, final print, uh, making different copies on the uh, paper, on the media that I will be printing on. Uh, of course, you need to make sure to be printing on clear material so that all of these layers are visible. You see the separation between uh, the layers as I'm printing and you see the final product, a image that transitions from a nighttime image into a daytime image depending on the light source that is put behind it.